System Preferences is a frog application. It allows you to make changes to specific settings for the platform. It is only available to the admin profile. There are several ways to access it. You can either go to the profile menu and find it linked here, or you should see it within the quick launch menu. But you can also find it in the application section of Frog Drive alongside the other admin applications. When you open System Preferences, you will see a list of sections on the left hand side. Organized alphabetically, these sections each contain unique settings required in that section. ADFS provides a space where you can link Frog to your Active Directory Federated service, the first step in allowing your users to single sign on from your current ADFS environment. Acceptable Use Policy provides you with a space to include an agreement form on first login. You can apply this to either or both profile types and reset it periodically. AUPs can be a useful way to highlight to users expected behavior on your platform. Dashboards lets you set different frog sites per login profile. Later on in this course, we will look at frog sites in detail. But for now, it is enough to say that each profile type can have multiple landing pages. This gives you the flexibility to provide areas other than the training spaces. File types is a whitelist for files you will allow to be uploaded to the platform. It is per profile so that admins could be allowed to upload file types that learners are not. If you're dealing with non-standard file types, you can add them in the custom types area. Login background lets you personalize the login page, which can help to make Frog feel like your own platform. You can update this image whenever you like. We recommend an image size of 1680 pixels wide by 895 pixels in height. But keep in mind that some users will be accessing Frog via mobile data so you should aim for the image file to be around 200 kilobytes in size. Organization details gives you a space to set the name of your company, which appears in various areas, and an email signature, which will be appended to all automated emails sent from the platform. Profile authentication allows you to set different authentication types for each profile. Your learner accounts can be set to use ADFS, for instance, while your admin accounts can use Frog. The password section is for those profiles using Frog for login, you can set password strength requirements. Limit logins allows you to freeze accounts with repeated failed login attempts to prevent someone attempting to gain unauthorized access. The account becomes locked for 15 minutes. You'll notice most sections include information icons which provide additional information. The timeline section lets you set how often a timeline will automatically refresh. This can be useful if lots of users are logging into an area with a timeline and causing multiple calls on the database. We'll look at the training section in the next few pages.